Okay, so this is going to be a brief tutorial on how to make this. So this is your catalog. And I, honestly, this may look good, but I, I really didn't spend too much time on this. And I'm going to show you how to do one just like this very quickly. So we're in Canva right now. Um, you know, this is just normal printer paper. So it's eight and a half by 11. As you can see up here at the top, it says eight and a half inches by 11. So uh, first thing that we want to do, let's create this little header up here that just says Christmas ornaments. So go over here to the left, go to elements, and then go to shapes. And we're going to use this square actually. Drag it up to the top, drag it all the way across. You know, make it about right there. Then we're gonna go over here to the left again, click text, add a text box, and then I had Christmas ornaments. So then, you know, just go ahead and type Christmas ornaments up there. Christmas ornaments. And drag it on up there. So, you just made the first component, very first component. Now. I'm gonna show you something. When you highlight this word right here, as you can see, as I move this to the left and the right, that line shows up in the center of the page. What that's doing is showing you, it's showing you how to center this word. And then right there, it shows you, um, you know, usually things are on the inside of this page, this rec this rectangle here. But anyways, up here, go up a little bit more. Now you see that dotted line going through the word. And then this solid line going down down the page it's showing you this is completely centered at the center of the top okay now the next component as you can see i have three squares each across the top so let's go ahead and do that now you want to go over here to elements and then i don't know what this is called but let's do um, type in image frame yeah image frame now these frames here allow you to just drag images into them All right, so when you have a size, we're just gonna experiment with it. Duplicate. And then duplicate again. Perfect. That's actually perfect. Now, let's go ahead, we wanna copy this. I fit three of these on here, but I also had the name of the thing, the item number, and the price. So, before we add anything else, Let's go ahead and click text box again. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is make the title, which is that. We wanna make everything the same size, so let's go ahead and duplicate it. Bring this one over. Now, as you can see, <clears throat> when clicking these and moving these, you can see the all these numbers pop up. And it's basically showing you how to make your page even so I'm gonna click duplicate it's just showing you how to make the page even now right here see that all of these were 0 0.125 away from the frame and then this right here in between is saying 0 0.656 space in between each of these words so it's just showing you how to get this thing centered we're going to complete this first row and then we're just going to duplicate that so then you'll see all right so next thing is this add another text box this next one was a little bit smaller so we're going to leave it like this and we're going to put item number item number let's just say one just to make it easy item number Kind of space in between there. 
item number A1. Now as you can see here, the next thing to add is the price. So we're just going to go ahead and add the price. Go over to the left here, click text box again. Actually, you know what? Instead of adding another text box, let's go ahead and just duplicate this. Yep. Duplicate again. Boom. And then for this one, we're going to make it bold. Okay, now all of this stuff is even because we've been using the Canva guidelines and the spacing tools that they have here. Uh, it's all just built into the platform. So let's just go up here, highlight everything. Now here is the beautiful part, duplicate. Boom. Now just, pick, just look at all the numbers and just make sure all your numbers are, see right there, that's all even. Boom, now here we go. This is the thing. This is the part where I realized that I made this stuff a little bit too big. So now all we have to do is highlight everything and then just shrink it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, now let's re recenter everything. Okay, right there. Now, Let's go ahead and just highlight this third row and duplicate. Let's see if it fits. It does not. So we got to make this thing much, much smaller. So let's go ahead and leave that. We got to highlight everything from top to bottom and then just shrink it. Right there. There we go. Now just center it right there. Okay. We're now done. Um, with this one, I had a lot of extra spacing in between these things. You don't need that extra spacing. So I kind of shortened it up a little bit and made everything tighter. On this sheet, each image is going to be bigger than this one. Although this one is pretty clear, you can see it pretty good. But right here, these are going to be even bigger, so it's going to be better for your customer to look at. Uh, let's see what else we can do. You know, that's pretty much it. Now, just follow what I did step by step, and then you'll get there. You know, this is the easiest way to make a catalog. And then you just go ahead and print these out of your printer color prints or just go to a local print shop or like an office depot or office max or walmart I, I don't know a lot of a lot of places probably do the prints so you can do that you know maybe if you have a job then maybe your employer will do it for you something like that so um if this helped you actually you know what this this is definitely the easiest way to do it now in my course that i have coming i'll have this file readily available so i will just link the files for you for this catalog for my order form for my uh description sheet everything i'll have all that stuff for you but if you want to go ahead and get started on it before i create the course before i make the course available to you then go ahead and just go to canva use your free trial and then copy what i did step by step and then you'll get the catalog all right so if you have any, have any questions, comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, bye.